the September 26, 2024 Parks and Recreation Board meeting is now in session. Uh, Chair Ruth Ann Gilbert. Here. Vice Chair Cody Emmy. Here. <laughs> Member Justin Kemp. Here. Member Elizabeth Maurer. Here. Member Becky Dixon. Here. Alternate Member Russell Scott. Here. And Alternate Member Monica West. Here. We have a quorum, men. Thank you. I don't believe we have any public comments. We do not. Um, the minutes for the January 27th, the August 22nd and September 12th meetings are on the television screen or if you have your own laptop. Start on page four of the packet. We did it, I'll just scroll down slowly and if anybody tells me to stop, I'll stop. Yeah, number six was the one we paid off, wasn't it? September says the twelve. No, that's not very good. Okay, that was that's the minutes. That's August twenty second. That's August twenty second. So we'll go through the minutes from the okay. special meeting. Oh. Since it's, the, since it's on the consent agenda, I mean, you can do, do it both. Okay, oh, good. Yeah, only if, only if a member says, no, I want to pull those minutes out to edit them. Okay. You know, if, if not, then it can pass as a single motion. Okay, all those people here. Mm -hmm. Those you just look at oh. and enjoy. Yeah, so this did come up last night. Mm -hmm. you know, the, at the six hundred dollar level, but then it was we up to a thousand, so we did it for a thousand. Mm -hmm. Which is good because I went down with Claire and spent over six hundred dollars. Yeah, oh good. That, a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Did you go to them? I met with her previously, okay. but Jeff is with the credit card. Okay, that was table. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then we have the announcements. So those are your minutes. Okay. Um, do I have a motion to approve the minutes from the August 22nd and the September 12th meeting? Meeting. So moved. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Oh, all in favor? Say aye. Raise your hand to say aye. Whatever. Aye. Yeah. All opposed. All right. Okay. Now we'll move to the report section of our agenda. Um, I wanted to let everyone know that I did talk to Fifth Room about removing an additional section of the gazebo at the Triangle. Said that would not be any problems. It's very well built. And the only thing you might want to think about is I believe there's a, a 
a border piece at the top just to make sure it's, it's it wouldn't hit someone's head because I guess around the edge of that border might be a little lower. But he said if that's the case, you might just want to put up some kind of an angle supports out of there. Is that for ADA accessibility? No, no, that's a this is just um What's what we're doing? we uh had discussed if we add the ramp to the low side of the triangle of the gazebo, they wanted to be able to have another side open yeah. for people to move yeah. in and out uh, without the ramp. How high the ground is it on that side? About six inches on, on the ramp. west side. On the other side, it's about 10 inches, which will require at least a 10 foot ramp. So you'd only need about a seven foot ramp on the west side. Well, could we not just do wooden steps on the uh, opposite side if we have a ramp on the on the far side? You could. Um, what's what's code for a, a single step? Is it six inches? I don't know. <clears throat> I haven't read that. That was a long time. I don't know what it is. <laughs> but it's it's not really all that much to begin with, mm -hmm. as far as the other side is concerned. And they can always if they need to do a shorter step, they can always come in on the west side, mm -hmm. which is only six inches. I think that will have to be a a separate. Conversation. Okay. All right. Now let's have our rainwater collection report from Justin Camp. Thank you. So I'll start with a review of the project in that it broke ground on July 13th this year, setting the foundation of post for the collection group. And on August 3rd, rafters and metal roof were installed along with the 500 gallon collection tank. The Eagle Scout, Bobby Brown, and his dad, Travis, uh, have additional items needed to complete the structure, and they documented those and shared them with uh, Mr. Jim Burton. Some of those items include, I uh, just to name a few, the gutters, downspouts, plumbing with hose and reel, additional wood for cross bracing, and materials for camouflaging. And those items have since been delivered to City Hall, and this weekend, Bobby and his father and the rest uh, his volunteers will be installing the gutters along with those in uh, this weekend on Saturday, I believe. Um, they also have materials for camouflaging. I believe this is two by four lumber and a stain they have chosen. Uh, I guess additionally, one of the fathers of the Girl Scouts participating in the uh, next door butterfly garden has offered to fill the 500 gallon tank this weekend for their purposes. So without waiting for the rain dance, uh, My tank will go ahead and fill. Does it have a water company? I believe so. Okay. Or ties to one that okay. is not available. Because that was a hold up of planting. Yeah. We just we didn't have any water. So the plumbing That's in, great. the water in, they can start using that water as soon as the next week. Can I just add, add something? You know, I've been noticing one of those living one of those magazines that come. There, there was an Eagle Scout who built um, the deck and um, for the um, assisted living, Alexa, right? And there was a little article about it, which would be nice to have an article like this. I agree. One of those young men was also helping with uh -huh. this. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's part of the same group. Uh -huh. um, but I think that's a great idea to have. Yeah, I wonder if I got rid of the article, find out who wrote it. No, it was in one of those little magazines that came. It just but, came this last week. And it, yes, yes, I, I guess week. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I still have it. I'll look and if I if click, oh, I can call this Kendra so you can let her know. It might also be worth submitting to the one way view. Yeah, that's okay. that's yeah. Teresa Kendra. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay, let's move on to our regular agenda item number five. Um, in our ordinance book, workshop to clarify the role of the advisory board, including uh, council liaison 411 policy. I'm marking it at 542 to begin the workshop. Oh, thank you. 
Becky, did you want to uh, review this part of the ordinances? Uh, I didn't actually remember you. I requested that the item be on the okay. agenda. Okay. Um, but if you have a thing looking at it, and you would like to do it. Actually, I spent a little more time on the, the next part, which was the role of the our board and you know how we are supposed to respond. On um, what page are you? That would be on really on page four of attachment A of Title Three. Of oh, Chapter Three. But let's let's go, let's start with the um the LA, the liaisons. Roll. And where are we looking? This is on, it's okay. It's at the very front, right past the map. So, Council Liaisons 411. I'm not sure about that. Is it under tab one? Is that what you're saying? No. It's before that. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Oh, okay. It was in my book, I'm sorry. Is it a sheet protector? Yes. Okay. Did you give me one of those others? I mean, we all got one of them in the book. Yeah, I'm um, going to bookshelf in my house. That's sorry. what I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. Are there specific questions that we need to be discussing? Well, my thought was that we we came to realize we weren't doing everything the way we were supposed to because we had really not been instructed in exactly how things work. And I just want it can be very brief, just a little bit of clarification. Mm -hmm. Cool. I think didn't council member Gromicky on the next page just create this? Um, this was created um, a couple of years ago. Yeah. The example of this communication flow. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the communication flow example may have been updated. Yeah. You know, since, but, um, and, and this whole thing needs to be reworked again. I think that the, what we keep talking about is the need for communication um, between between the the board and the council and staff, because all have a have a role in this. So. You know, part of it that that uh, we've asked people to say that if the chair or someone on the on the board, you know, needs something, um, and then staff can provide it, right? So we send a note to Jim Burton, um, but you copy Bob, you know, or or oh, it goes to Jim. Well, yeah, you know, that's what I'm saying. If yeah, everybody, if, question. If, oh. everybody's in, if everybody's in the loop, I mean, so if. If it's if it's a code question and you okay. want to ask ask Jim, but you copy Bob on the email, then Bob at least knows what's going on. Sure. You may not have a response to it, but at least you've got a response. So that's that's what's been missing is that is that you know there's a lot of communication back and forth between two of the parties, and then the other one is left out of the. Uh -huh. of the so it sounds like we need another swim lane in this, right? Yeah. I mean, we've got council board for the council, but we have nothing about staff. Right, and that's what I'm saying is, is really sort of needs to be reworked with this because it's like, it, you know, we, we took this as a as a way of saying, hey, if you're going to have a liaison, the liaison is not there to tell you what to do. No. Out of right. Some of the liaisons are, you know, like taking minutes and handling the, the minutes and, mm -hmm. and handling the motions. Um, so it's, it's sort of up to the up to the committee, you know, just sort of who manages that, who's going to be sort of the secretary. We may look at this anyway and just say, you know, each each board should have, you know, like a, a chair, a vice chair, and a designated secretary, mm -hmm. you know, just sort of to keep the notes and the and the record. Mm -hmm. I mean, and then those then those would be still filed with the city because you know they're the repository for information, so mm -hmm. that still gets filed. Um, but what's what had been happening is 
you know, liaison comes on a little bit too strong and is actually leading the meeting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, that's not, it, mm -hmm. at first you sort of have to do that before you have a chair. Right. Um, but as soon as you go into the chair, you know, that, that role goes away. Mm -hmm. And the liaison is there for, to answer questions if you have them, mm -hmm. um, to bring your work, you know, to the council. So, hey, in our meeting, we voted to, to do this and this, and the council needs to, now approve it, the liaison would bring that as an agenda item, you know, in the next meeting, typically, of the of council. Mm -hmm. So that there's that, so it's always, always going. But, you know, as he does that, you know, if, you know, Bob puts it on the agenda, sends, sends an email in to put it on the agenda, whatever, you know, copies it then, so she knows it's on the, that it's mm -hmm. going to be on there. So, you know, and that's the, that's the gist of it. So okay. everybody just stays connected. Okay. So that it all gets back to city council, right? Mm -hmm. But the main thing is the main thing that that I would say is that is that each board is autonomous. Each board, mm -hmm. you know, elects its own chair, you know, sets its own rules. Um, you know, you set your your meeting dates, you know, that does not come down, you know, from the council. You you have the firewall there. Um and the, the liaison, you know, is, is not there to to tell you what to do unless you ask for assistance and then they'll mm -hmm. you know help as much as they can. One of the things that about this particular meeting today is the timing is perfect mm -hmm. because the next agenda item due date is this coming Monday. So anything we do today I can get done by Monday and it'll be on the agenda for the night. Okay. If we got up later, if you always, if you're always thinking about it that way, you'll always be kind of ahead of the game in terms of, otherwise we'd have to wait until the, uh, that's, you know, the uh, 14th, 23rd of October. And that's getting real late after we had this meeting. Let's, if it was just not timed right, mm -hmm. you would be pushed another two weeks. So this is great timing. If we continue to be kind of like that, okay. it'll be very advantageous to this committee, I think. Yeah, so, so we keep referring to this, that communication loop as the three-legged stool. So if you go to, if you go to, you know, Jim and say, hey, we can come up with the three-legged stool, they'll know what you're talking about. I, I, I make the point that we found ourselves in a bit of trouble and not quite understanding in page four under tab one, uh, on E, the, 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 uh, the recommendation of the Parks and Recreation Board is merely a recommendation to not binding on City Council. And there was F that plans should be submitted to City Council for review and further election. And we had been allowed to just go forward with things sometimes right. without going through that step yeah. by step. And that's important for us to all know. Yeah, and, and you know, I'll, I'll personally apologize for that. Um, because it, it was something that's been going on for, for a while. It's just, and it's just the difference between the way that the, actually the two previous city managers, um, had been, had been trained in, in the environment they came from. And they come to a general law city like all oh, and the rules change. Um, and where, where they come from because their home rule and the charter defines the, the role of the departments. Um, they have a lot more, a lot more, um, authority like to spend without having to go back to the city council. Um, in our case, the law is clear that, that, that an advisory board can't commit any, any dollars whatsoever. They can request it, you know, council goes okay, and then you're, you're good to go. And we just need to get that changed, right? Right. For the right. right. And, and I think that, I think that staff are going to do that. What do we need to be changed? What our chain of going through these steps appropriate. Yeah, not, but this is, we're not changing this. We no, no, no. We just get not follow abiding it. by yeah, it. We, follow we were allowed to not abide by it. Yes. And in our ignorance, we yes. lost okay. it. Yes. yes. Well, there's no, it's not ignorance. Well, we, well, know, we, we did not know. That's yes. Yes. Right, and and I, I don't find it at the moment. But the other thing I, I found very important is, is if city council asks us to do something, we have to. We have to at least you know, okay. study it, report okay. it, and answer back to them. So, um, that's one of the reasons why I brought up things like a dog park as a possibility. Yes. And, and things that are um, part of the comprehensive plan, because that's what each each committee is supposed to do is say, you know, what are the things that the plans that we have for the future sort of thing. And dog park is one of them that has to be considered. It doesn't have to be done, but it has to be considered and discussed. 
I was under the impression that Pat responded to that request. Is that probably not true? I don't know. Okay. Right. Look, the dog park? Yes. I suggest the dog park and, <clears throat> park and the location. I got zero enthusiasm for it. Is that from us or from the council? No, it was a completely different parks board. Yeah. Okay. Different people. I didn't realize there was a space here in the city. Okay, well, well okay. okay. That's, that's, part, that's part of the one of our people off here. But it's a good thing to know. Okay. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Does that help anyone? Yes. Help. Yeah, absolutely. But I, I, I'm, I'm curious, is there anything that the only thing i can see that we need to change or add is the communication jeff was mentioning about if one of us individually communicates with city staff that the liaison should be copied or involved or in the loop so whether it's verbally or yeah if it has to do with city business right I mean, but that's what city business is whatever yeah. And I don't, I don't if think you're talking to Bob about the Dallas Cowboys, then that's yeah. right. Yeah, but I mean, but that's yeah, not let's that's not by this because I go in and ask Jim, uh, I feel like I'm interested in getting that report about the ADA, right? But it's so does that need to be reported to everybody? Um, if, 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 you, yeah, if, you, if you've made it, yeah, if you've made a decision, if you, if you go and, and meet with Jim and y'all say, okay, this is what we got to do about the ADA, no, 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 I just want to. To see it. Just to get some information. If yeah. you're going for information, that's fine. You don't have to you don't have to tell Bob that you went and tried to do you know, about basic information. But but if you find out something that's good to share, then sure. sure. Then you would then you would send a note by hey, that was Jim and here's okay. what you discovered. Okay. But the main thing that we want to get out of this workshop is understanding our role in communicating to council before any expenditure yes. or, or final decisions are made yes. and not just thinking that we have that authority. Correct. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Right. And then just I think speaking as sure on it now. I think we are. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean just speaking as you know for the for the council, you know, it's it's, it's like like this has been sort of prominent. It's like, oh yeah, they're so mean and they just don't want us to do anything. It's like no 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 so the, the other, there's one other little part and that is the report. If you want something on the agenda, you write it up. I look at that to make sure that what I what I put or propose for the agenda is what you're talking about as well mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. on our agenda. From, I see no, that from, from, agenda. from us to council. Right. Yeah, on, on our agenda, I like to send report from uh, council liaison on every agenda. Yes, okay. because okay. there was a city council meeting last night, and we don't have. Or like from the latest on the that on the That should always be it normally has mm -hmm. uh, we had some this is a little rough because we're going through without some of my our our staff here to remind me of things. Yeah. So yeah. So uh, each meeting. Okay. Okay. Also when we were on the topic of, of communication, let's remember the to not create or create the impression of having a walk-in forum in our communications. And that's three or more, right? No, that's, yeah, yes, three or more is walk-in And that's very correct. Yeah, you corrected mm -hmm. me on that one time. Mm -hmm. yeah. just, we just need to be careful with that. So I, I have a question there. So when the three of us are meeting, are we a walking quorum? No, because we didn't talk about our business. We didn't. <laughs> we didn't. <laughs> yeah, they're also wearing things we over their mouths. And things. <laughs> and the other meeting <laughs> thing is, is you know, just yeah, any, any business. flexible in terms of, of like social mm -hmm. gathering. Our working in the car. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, don't 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 sit there and talk about you know what you want to put on the agenda next. Yeah, you know, talk about whether that's a weed or something you want to write. You keep it there in your phone. Very clear. Oh, that's three, four, four. Three. three. Three is a walking quorum. Yeah. yeah, so two is really where you need to be. Right. But if you want to get, if you do want to get something out to everybody, you can. You can like address it to me, Dan, and then BCC the rest of the committee, and, and that's fine. But then everybody gets the information. That's fine. It's and just that you're not going to, but you, you don't have a reply to all. Yeah. You can't reply to all, right. which would create, you know, the quorum. You know? So it would be like a topic that we might want to discuss in the next meeting. Right. Be right. thinking, hey, everybody, be like, thinking about this. I'm going to be out of town. 
Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. 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 On the other board that I was on, we were dealing with substantial sums of money mm -hmm. for the city, and I always communicated with city staff and let them decide how it was distributed. You know, I was not copied on. On their answer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so, the way you wanted it. That's the way I did it there. We were there. We were talking about millions of dollars. Okay. So I was very careful to not let the state get their fingers into it. Okay. But is it all right? Should we go through city staff when we want someone to send out an email to everybody? I can do no, that. I mean, the chair. I'm, I'm not saying you need to do that. It's just that's a way to. Yeah, in that board. Yeah. And there was any question I was sent through city staff, then they could distribute the question. Yeah, it just eliminates any possibility of a appearance uh, of the forum, yes. of a forum you know, ah. without public. Yeah. So so when when like you're working on the agenda itself, so you're getting it ready to go, mm -hmm. um, that's a critical time to have you know staff we get it done on yeah. and and the board and some, I mean, maybe the Ruth Anthony will be gone and so you take on the agenda, but it's okay. critical that all three people are, are working. You can, you can say, hey, Bob, can we meet, you know, at City Hall and go through some of this stuff? And yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but but you wouldn't send that email out to, to Becky and Elizabeth too and say, hey, everybody, let's take a look at this agenda. Yeah, so. But could I ask for agenda? You can ask for agenda items. items. You can ask for agenda items. You can also send out the draft of the agenda, mm -hmm. you know, before it gets posted and okay. get feedback from uh -huh. the um, okay. from the team. Okay. Um, but again, you know, it's just it's BCC, so that so that you know Monica sees it, says, "Oh, I thought we were gonna, I thought we tabled that. I don't need to get that back on again." Uh -huh. You know, then you know, memory gets refreshed, and you can yeah, do the agenda. Okay. Any more questions? Anybody? That would like to ask you. Okay, let's, oh, that's the end of the Yeah, so we'll say that we'll come out of the workshop at 5.53 ish. All right, now let's move to number six. Workshop to discuss a more simplified accounting of parks and rec board expenditures throughout the year to be included in the packet. Russell. Yeah, so this just comes from basically. Um, you know, the previous item where we were having difficulty um, understanding what we can and cannot do and should and shouldn't be doing. And um, Bob and staff helped develop a, you know, simple spreadsheet, I guess we'll call it. And uh, that was very helpful, but, you know, it, it felt like it was a one time thing. And to me, it, it should, on any board, should just be a running thing. I mean, it's just your fiscal year budget and your expenditures that are approved, uh, your, your expenditures that are approved and spent, and what the net was, and just a running, I mean, just a, ch a checkbook, a check register. Yeah. You know, just, I, I don't want to make it complicated. I don't want to make it anybody has to do, you know, get a CPA involved. I just think it'd be very helpful for mm -hmm. us to just look at a one-page spreadsheet. Yeah. And go, oh, oh just an Excel sheet. You know, we're right. running out. Of, you know, yeah, just so that an Excel sheet. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 An Excel yeah sheet. I think that um, that in in our in our phone view accounting software, um, I know I can go in and get get you know transaction reports, and I'm assuming that that can be you know just sort of broken out into just. You know the parks board accounts. Yeah. Um, I'm not in there every day, so I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. But I'm, but it's it's a pretty sophisticated accounting program. So what you're asking for, I think, is that is that um, uh, part of a staff's um, support of yes. the board is to say, okay, here's here's where we are year to date, you know, for you know all the parks funds. Right. And then we spent this, we spent this. What it won't have is what you plan to spend. No. So you'd have to you'd have to figure that out and, um, and Right. And, and I don't think I don't think that was where we were getting hung up. No. Where, we, where we were getting hung up is when we have left. what we, when right. we have why left. we have what is our budget and, and what has been approved and what is not been approved. Yeah so there are the the um the, the the individual like budget items for um for a, a board 
aren't broken out in the accounting software. So there wouldn't be a there wouldn't be a breakdown for well, spectacular and things. Yeah, I don't know if you can do it because they're not an account for spectacular it's all coming out of the same account. But you know if you see any detail on the expenditures, if they were you could okay, okay, well that's obviously spectacular. So yeah. you might have to do a little math on the side. Um I, I, mm -hmm. I'm thinking this could be much easier just to keep a simplified color coded spreadsheet. I mean, you don't I, have I can't just things moving. Huh? You don't have that many moving parts. So if you put the get a report, yeah, you yeah. can get you can get the information out of front view, which is where all the money goes. Yeah, I mean we need um, the out and then just I enter it in, and then you can put it in whatever columns or rows you want. Right. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if Fundview can actually give us the report that we want to have the information that we need. So I don't know if it'll actually give us the report that I'm I'm thinking. I mean what I what I had, I mean we had we were talking about like four or five different. Oh no, this came. That money came from this money. That money's this one. That money. No, that's mm -hmm. budget money. No, that's profit money. No, that's that's good tax money. And I'm like going, I'm completely lost. And so I'm looking for like a simple spreadsheet that is color coded. You know, blue is food tax or orange is food tax, or blue is parks and you know whatever. And, and over on the right, you have a column. That shows that orange column starting at a thousand minus one hundred is at nine hundred minus two fifty. That's, that's what I like. You don't see yeah, just, just going to do that. Not staff. But yeah, they're not staff that ability to leverage Excel and do that. I mean, it's oh it's gosh. it's probably thirty minutes, fifteen fifteen minutes of work a, a week. Should we start by saying what can be pulled from the current software? Yeah, that's my, that was my note. Right. And, and I think that's a side. great point because the other thing that was frustrating to me, being able to the budget council before, is seeing all these round off. Oh, twenty six hundred. Oh, mm -hmm. thirteen fifty. And and they're not. You know, it's fourteen twenty nine and twelve eighty and eighty two thirty seven. You know, and I want to know what those numbers are because. You know those dollars and cents add up at the end of the year. Not numbers like that would be too hard. <laughs> right, but I mean, what in front of you it's going to be to the penny sure. off of a credit card. Yeah. What was yeah. spread? Yeah. You know, yeah. exactly. And, and so again, that just helps us. You know, asking whether staff yeah, can right. do it. I don't know that I would ask Jim or Taffy at this point. <laughs> um, but we do have we do have a new accountant um, that we hired specifically to help with front of you. Um, and do monthly accounting and and to say, hey, you know, it's like like while you're at it, you know, just we want you to keep a spreadsheet, you know, of parts of parts board um, oh, yeah. expenditure against their against their budget. Yeah. On it. So yeah, I'm, like I'm, happy to, I'm happy to do like a mock-up. Just this was kind of my vision uh -huh. Uh -huh. that we can bring back to the next meeting and you know everybody can look at and say, yeah, that may or no, let's move this over here. And then, I mean, once you set up the spreadsheet, it's just putting in numbers. Plug in it's numbers. just plugging in numbers yeah. and you. It's easy, not, easy. It's not, that's why I was saying 15 minutes a week worth of yeah. work. Creating it may take me an hour or two to get it to where it's easy to read and stuff. But, uh, so, yeah. Um, so, the accountant would then communicate, say, to Russell before the staff meeting and say, here's the report. Yeah, and or, you could yeah. even transfer it to so your own little board meeting. But yeah, for our meeting, you could have, if, 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 you know, so move that to an Excel spreadsheet. For the packet. Yeah, the question I think is whether whether See, the just, accountant is providing you know, you yeah, with yeah. the numbers that you're putting into the Excel spreadsheet, uh, or whether we're asking them to. No, I'd rather the them do it, but uh, their spreadsheet's not going to look like, I think, what he's asking for. Well, I mean, if yeah. you give them the template. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was going to give them a template to keep on the city shared drive, and they just plug in the numbers every week and send it to Ruth Ann. Here's your updated you know, budget. Yeah, so you got, you got basically okay. you know, an overall. So here's your overall budget. Now, Part of that budget now is that okay, we're going to do 3,700 of that for spectacular. Right. So now you've got got another set of numbers in there that's coming off. It's kind of still coming off the big one, but you still want to see how it's well, going to come. Any budget is this is your dream and this is actual, yeah. you know. So it's any like any of us have a personal budget, what you think you want to spend every month, and then what you actually spend. But, right. but when we have projects <clears throat> that would help us 
see if we have any money to even do that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Or a new agenda items come up and go, well, we can do that maybe next year. Well, wait a mm -hmm. second. You know, we have, or put it in the yeah. next year's budget. Yes. Or put it in next year's budget. Or realize okay. that we do have the money left. If the city CPA doesn't want to do that, I'll bet you Council Member Bailey will do it because the, she will eat that alive. Yeah. No, she's, she would. She's a forensic accountant. So, yeah. Oh, she would. Yeah. Well, I don't want to make an, ex an ex additional expense asking for this it, kind of information. Well, like I said, the 15, I mean, she's on a, she's on a retainer, okay. basically. Um, okay. the CPA, yeah. the CPA. Yeah. I mean, so, so we just say this is part of the job. So how many, how many expenses on average throughout the year from one meeting to the next does the park board undertake? Now, I know sometimes it's 15 or 20, but sometimes it's zero. Or one or nothing, right? So right now it's more like three a year. Huh? More like three a year. No, well, no, we have we have an individual money to uh, I go out of yes. the three projects, but like like two tankular will have yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, how many yeah, yeah. multiple yeah. Yeah. So how many how many between each meeting no. on average? Oh. oh between I mean they're not I, I don't I would like it monthly. I don't think we need a well, that's what yeah, I said. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. How many between each meeting? Okay, so like we need to five and ten. So, I mean, that's the ten to ten right? Yeah, it's I mean, that's what the treasurer did for me at the last. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. And well, I I kept track of all the things and just turned it back into her, and then she went over it with me to make sure that what I was doing was right. Okay. Yeah, we need to really, truly, you know, if you wanted to, this this. Or to go to the council and say we want to spend two hundred dollars a month, you know, for accounting. You know, it's like that's you've got you of our budget. Are you kidding? <laughs> you know, I'm just saying. I mean, it could be fifteen dollars a month, but if it's fifteen minutes, that's you know, it's not a whole lot. I'm thinking fifteen to thirty minutes max. So do we need to month. ask council for an action item? To well, there's not. You're not really asking for or anything out of the workshop, and you don't. Um, it doesn't take much time. Well, you do have you do have an action on here too. Yes. Um. So so you could do you could make a motion. Okay. Um. The request from council, whatever you want to request from council. Yeah, you know, monthly. I mean, if you just say monthly. Yes. Uh, accounting of all parks boards expenditures by category slash event. Um. The and then and then they can and then and then. You can then like Bob can report to the council that says, okay, we had a couple of different ideas. Um, especially now that we have a, an accountant, you know, on staff that's dealing with the fund, do you think where all the money is? Mm -hmm. Where all the money is is mm -hmm. is um is where it's all plugged in. Um that's the that's the first source, you know, after that. Yeah. And maybe then the first yeah. step is creating a template mm -hmm. that we're all comfortable with. So I'll since I've brought this up, I'll volunteer to do that. And we'll need to make that an agenda item for the next agenda to review that and approve, you know, approve or make changes to that. Then I think at that point, once it's approved, we can send that to council and say we want somebody, we want to spend fifty dollars a month or whatever to have somebody keep this updated and provided to us for our regular meetings. Okay, so we won't do anything at the moment right. and you will I, proceed I, to- I, bring Right, us. because we're at this kind of cart full of horrors. I yes. Mean, we're asking for something and they're gonna go do it their way. But the like, timing- hey, That's not the way we want it. <laughs> the, time, the timing is great because, you know, fiscal year starts October 1st. Yeah. Right. So yeah. you're, you're starting with your big budget item at the top and nothing much underneath. Wonderful. If anything. All right, that sounds good. All right, so I'll do the template. Give it a try. Budget code. Okay, number eight. Okay, six ten. Then close the okay. workshop. Oh, I'm sorry. Close the workshop at six ten. Now, are you going to take an action on this, or are you going to no, gonna we're pass gonna on let, seven? Oh, we're going to pass until um our next meeting. Okay, so table seven. But we can, but Russell can be working on it. He's going to bring it to us in the next meeting. And then we will then uh, see if we're ready to ask. You want to go ahead and, and just make a motion to the table. Okay. Yep. Uh, 
I'll make a motion to table item number six until the next regular meeting. Number seven. seven. Oh, seven? Yeah, yes. Oh, six, six was the workshop. Seven. Oh, there we go. Sorry. I should put my glasses on. Oh, oh really? That's why they're here. Make a motion to table item number seven until our regular meeting. I'll second it. All in favor? Say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, now let's move to item, item number eight. We tabled this, uh, this, okay, this is for our request to purchase the remainder of the loose parts. This was tabled at our last meeting. Now, uh, Bob, could you let us know what happened at the council meeting? Uh, sure. With the with the accounting mm -hmm. work that they had done on us. Okay. Well, uh, okay. the, the, the subcommittee report, they basically say that there is $6,466.32 left after the recoding, after the recoding that occurred. And that includes the $1,000 that was committed to the Boy Scouts. So according to this, we have $6,466.32 left to spend. Now, is that in... Parks for Oh, is that 6400 I actually thought it was going to be more than the, uh, the, the recoding of like the tree work and yeah, those got, yeah, that was in the report so last that, night. Um, everything that would be that was taken out and recoded, mm -hmm. there was tree work, it was there was several items. It was forty one hundred dollars, wasn't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. and so that got that got, that got put back into post, but we already had we already we well, no, wait, no, this is, I mean, that is, that is the accounting, you know, that is from, um, <laughs> okay, let me, so let me read this part to you, Please. This yes. spending a POSAC after recoding items of parks and playground maintenance and parks and line items, $257,462.90 spent $4,179 was recoded, with $9,537.10 remaining. And according to this, says this amount will carry over into the 24 25 $9,500. $9,537.10. That's what we have left. That's what we have so, Thank you. Okay. Yes, that's what we have And then, yeah, the Parks and Playground balance is 1839 and the Parks Board remaining balance is $6,400. So that sounds like really $1,500. $15,000. Well, we want to keep it separate, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and it is separate here. Wait through. Okay. So six four six six thirty two in parks and ninety five thirty seven ten in Pozac. Correct. Yes. Thank you. So I'm not sure why it was. Table. I guess it was tough because we were trying to get the exact. The we had to wait. And get the 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 correct, correct. Okay. Okay. For that okay. So we can just make a motion to do that. Here. Yes. Okay. So I think we are. Is that is that on the website too? Um, I would like. Right. Shall we? It was it was on the. Um, the city council agenda yesterday, and this is included in it. It's right there. But now it. we want to ask council permission to order yeah. the yes. remaining loose parts. Right. I can make motion right now. Okay. Yep. I, I thought we had this somewhere in the in the papers. Yeah, what we were what was on it? We did. It's actually in the packet. Is it? Thank yeah, you. I'll lay out okay. in the packet. Okay, thank you. The, I'm sorry. The, yeah. the uh, bids from vendors, etc. Okay. It looks looks like it's complete. Sure. That's the, the only thing I would change in the motion, Cody, right. is to it's not just loose parts, right? Well, it's the natural playground order. It's yeah, but it says loose parts. Well, that's, what, that's what we're calling it. Um, well, I think we just I think we strike that. Yeah, yeah. 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 motion and call the national educational play area. Yeah. There Thank you go. You. And it's strike the loose parts. I move this board makes a recommendation to council to request authorization to use monies from the parks board expense account not to exceed six thousand dollars for the completion of the natural education play area at Augusta Park. Oh, I have a little bit of confusion. I don't think six is six cover it. 
Well, I don't see that. We our parks board money would have to be spent by this by Monday. Monday. And it's not going to be approved by the council until then. Yeah. This wouldn't be on the council agenda until the night. But we could ask it to be out of POSAC. Yeah. This is that is that that's six that's parks. The sixty four hundred out of parks has to be all spent by this Monday. Yeah. So so bottom line on that is that is that the way the city budgets work is that all that money goes away October 1st, mm -hmm. but it goes back into reserve. If it's not spent, it goes back into reserves, right? So mm -hmm. it's in reserves. So if y'all have something, that, if any board has something that says, okay, so we weren't able to, to, to do what we wanted to do in time last year, we'd like to request council to move X number of dollars from reserves you know, into uh, into our budget, into the budget, you know, for use on these particular things. So you can you can go back and grab it, but it's it's a process. So we have to go back and grab it. Then we have to make. Stop. And the reason that the reason that we worked so hard to get all that stuff out um, to clarify, and, yeah. and into and into your budget, I mean, spend it out of the ten thousand dollars that we set aside. Um, the reason that we did that is because POSAC doesn't go away from October 1st. Right. The POSAC funds carry over until they're finally gone. But we want to spend our money. <laughs> we, want to, we want to request council. Yes, that's you. Spend the part more expensive account, just like I moved. Yes, I like you. And the action after the fact will take place however council wants it to. All we can do is make a recommendation. And so we would order those materials. No, we have to. We have to have approval from council. So I think the the motion Cody can be amended to something of uh, what Jeff was saying. We we, 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 yes, yeah, so we want to uh, to funds. not to exceed six thousand dollars to be set aside in reserve funds from this fiscal year for us to spend. You go ahead and make the motion. <laughs> the thing is, I made a motion. Yes. Yeah. And, and it either so gets seconded or it dies for lack of one. Can it be amended? I think it can be amended. If it if it was never said, well, it, actually, when you talk, it's when you made the motion, yeah. and, and, and when you, once you talk, start talking, it's technically. I'd like to amend the motion I made before the lack of a second occurs. Mm -hmm. I recommend this board. I, I move that this board makes a recommendation to council to request authorization. To use monies set aside in the reserve fund not to exceed six thousand dollars for the completion of the natural educational play area at Augusta Park. Second. Well done. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Raise your hand. Aye. All opposed. No, that was your action. You just made the motion. That was your action. So now it goes to council as a recommendation. Yeah. So Bob, Bob, oh, Bob, Bob will bring we'll this, this motion to council. Okay. I thought we had to put it in a No, you did. Okay. It's, you made a motion. Okay. It was seconded and passed. So if, if if I could, so what you will not do now is you'll do the form. I'll review the form and, and complete the agenda item according so that what you said is what I write basically, so that it, it agrees. It's kind of like a check. Checks and balance sort of thing. Yeah, basically we're taking items. What's this that you're doing right now? This is just for Taffy. Okay. You know, we're trying to kind of put minutes together. Um, but uh, so with item number eight, the the basic change in that the amendment was instead of to use monies from the department to set aside um, money from reserves um, in the expense account. Which we will have in about three days. Right. <laughs> right. So, so you should be like referring to the six thousand dollars that we lose at the first of October. Mm -hmm. Right. So we'll lose back, to the, back, back to the reserve. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We'd like another opportunity to have that money. Yeah. Right. That's yeah. good. So we're gonna we're gonna and right. don't and don't tell me what else we'll do that. Yeah. Yeah. Number nine should be much easier, I think. So we don't lose that. All right, so yeah, unless, okay. there's any further, unless there's further discussion on anything. Okay, now let's move to item number nine. Discuss and take possible action on my recommendation to the city council to request authorization 
to use the monies from the POSAC account not to exceed $8,500. What are we going to use it for? Well, we yeah. don't have to now. What? I mean, we don't need to spend that money. We're going to get it all from our budget. We get it from the reserve budget. budget. Yeah. So these item eight and number nine and nine were kind of referring to the same mm -hmm. needs. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why we tabled it because we weren't sure where we were going to be able to get our money from. Exactly. Yeah, which bucket? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Who, by the way, I'm sorry. I remember who seconded eight. Go to make the motion. Okay. Russell, Russell. Thank you. So what sure. recommendation are we going to make to, to use the eighty five hundred dollars for it? Well, I think it was actually it certainly appears that you can see that for the Augusta Lane. I, I did the part motion. Part motion. I didn't bring our budget. At this time, I don't think we have uh, a plan for those funds. If we can spend the other funds for our remainder of August. Well, we had like twenty four hundred dollars. Or two thousand dollars and something that we were wanting to spend, and that's why. That's why. So there's a six thousand. Remember, we last meeting and an eighty-five hundred, twenty-five hundred dollar delta there, right? The twenty-five hundred dollars wasn't available in our park fund, so we were going to use some Pozac money for that, but I don't remember what it was for. No, I didn't bring the. Was that the scout projects? You know what else? Oh, it's all been covered. We can't use the Bozak funds for spectacular as far as I know. No, no, that's right. that's right. But, but yeah, you know, like if the motion number eight that you're going to take to council, the council says, sure, you know, we'll just take from reserves and put it in there. We'll make a budget amendment or whatever um, and, and put that money. In addition to what money you're budgeted for next year, sure. Then, but why would you? And you've got to put that money in your pocket. But we can't spend it without requesting. We yeah, you've got to be specific. We your, so we were we were talking about eighty five hundred. We obviously needed eighty five hundred for something. We were uh, we will we will have some expenses with some of the ADA compliance if we can use that. From both you can definitely use it for ADA especially at, uh, at the gazebo. I know we're going to have a ramp and some things okay. there, and we're going to have some ADA. Since so Are those ADA need, needs defined yet? Do no, we have, well, a, I have, we have a you know we have a we should table this. I do too. I agenda item until we have an ADA report in front of us. We've had time to review the board. I expect to come with me. Okay. Yeah. 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 I, I'm wondering if we're clear at this point on what we can spend. Was that? Fun. Right, that's something we still need. You can yeah. okay. So so you know you've got a wish list for Augusta Park. You know some things that you need to do with the gazebo to get it up to speed. Um, you know so so I that's just talking in general. Yeah, that's what yeah. the that's what the council is looking for. Is so okay. We need to we need X number of dollars for the ramp and for the you know fifth room and and. Um, and then um, Krista mm -hmm. Richardson last night told us about Moby Moby mm -hmm. Mass. Moby Mass. Mass. Moby Mass. Um, just they, them. They're, but they're ADA compliant and they're not very expensive at all. And you use uh, them for. If I'm not mistaken, the uh, engineered wood fiber at Creekside Park is ADA compliant. Yeah, there's an argument about that. And I always thought it was. So it, the, the manufacturer, the manufacturer, and the supplier, the vendor, confirmed that it's ADA compliant. I haven't seen the report yet, and I, I hate to say it, but there's a, apparently it's quite lengthy. Uh, the store, our store, the report is, it is, it is so we need to just go to that one first, and maybe more than one of us. We need some money for periodic maintenance at Creekside, also. So I think it is cost to fund. Okay, before I, we go, yeah, there is, I mean, we're gonna get the post like money anyway, but it can't separate, just go anything else. That's right, there's a separate budget item for parks maintenance, yes, yes, so we don't have to spend that without those. But we may have to do some AD, quite a bit of ADA. Okay, let's just table. Okay, so, so do you move the table? Mm -hmm, I move the table, um, agenda item number nine, until a future meeting when we have more information. Do we have a second? Second, thank you, Becky. All in favor, say, or raise your hand. I have any opposed? Okay. Now, 
We're going to move to our spectacular event okay. and our opportunities list. I would like everybody to let me know. What they would like to be involved in. So we'll start at the top. Advertising. How have we done that in the past? Uh, Pat gave me a list of the uh, papers, um, next door, the uh, radio station, but I'm not sure we need to put that in the list. Are you talking about the social media and maybe the Wimbley View or something? Mm -hmm. Bring in leverage the city's um, text and their uh, social media accounts. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we need to put that in front of city staff and get, this, get that coordinated. How much are you wanting to advertise about that with Creek? Is that not very much? Um, See, that, that's it. And put it on really few. Yeah. Around. And that's yeah. exactly yeah. the problem. Yeah. 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 We're out of here any quick. I think we turn yeah. people away. And then I don't yeah. know yeah. why we're putting it on. Check it out, please. So maybe, uh, yes, just phone. Well. I'll do road closure. Uh, as I said, I would already and get the, in the people for it. That's great. That's a huge one. Okay. You know, I, don't, I, like, I don't know if that, that we need to advertise. I mean, Pat put up a band in the entry. Yeah. I got to we still have. Yes, and, and uh, Tappy has the ability to change the dates. We, Pat gave me, sent me everything to do that. Yeah, I think that is just the city text and email. The city text. Okay. And, 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 you know, we had the, the two city Facebook pages. And they yeah. Put in, yeah. And put it on those two city pa Facebook pages. And you like Woodbury, you know, and Woodbury. Yeah, Texas. and if somebody wants to put it on next door. Next door. Is there somewhere we could like maybe laminate something and put it like on the bin at group side or like at certain? Well, we have the banners. Like, uh, okay. um, I know there's one large one. Probably two large ones. Yeah, that's enough. I think that's I enough. I agree. I mean, we, yeah, people like it. Um, so who would like to be in charge of this area? In terms of communication, mm -hmm. communication slash marketing. Mm -hmm. right. Since it's a city event, does that communication need to be vetted and or ran through city staff? Does city staff actually do that, Jeff? They'll they'll implement your your message, you know, and we'll be happy to help with it. Happy's pretty good, um, but uh, but you know, it's like. The word is I mean, it's, it, we've done it before. In fact, there may be emails and things that went out before that can be copied and reused. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Um, but I would suggest somebody from, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you what to do. No, no. I'm, I'm not being a very good liaison. No. Um, but uh, but yeah, it's, we, we, it's been two years since we even had a spectacular. Yes. So no, but they do have all that. But if forms. somebody, yeah. you know, if somebody on the, on the, um, on the board, you know, sort of sets a meeting with Happy and says, "Here's what we want to do. We're going to need your help." You know, then you can sort of, sort of brainstorm it. Do I have a volunteer? Well, well, if I do that, I'm not going to be as involved with the meetings process. <laughs> well, let's let's just. Um, let's, let's I have, what is it? All that needs to be done: the Facebook group, the, the text, and email. Oh, and, 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 and to, to the banner. Yeah. How you, how no, no, Kathy has all that. She's going to do that, oh. and that'll get re. Yes, and so we're really talking about. I can do the work. Uh, Thank you. And then it to fun. Okay, so um, just because y'all know, I can't. I can't do as much today. Of I understand. No, it's, 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 based, it's not 20 different messages. It's yeah. just like one yeah. message. Yeah, and I'm on both yes. the Facebook exactly. groups. So I'll just focus on it. Yeah. Yeah. I do yeah. need to get. Next yeah, so we have the old graphic. I'm not but a Canva person. So like, oh, yeah, we have everything had. had. So yeah. I don't know, but we need, we need to be able to take the old graphic for posting like on Facebook mm -hmm. or wherever mm -hmm. and have it adjusted. Um, I honestly uh, feel like I could just attach yeah, that. I can take that and put it in the Illustrator easily. Okay. Or if that, if someone can do that, I don't know. Yes. It sounds like we have an advertising subcommittee. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay, Justin and. Yeah. 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 Subcommittee up or not? The given a marketing advertising. That's why we just need names. Okay, great entry form. So I'm going to ask the city staff. 
to provide that to us. The so great entry form. And oh, can they sure. sign up online? Are they going to be able to sign up online, or do they have to come here? I think they sign up. I think they can sign up online. Do they pay online? Do they pay online? Do they I don't remember. We can do that. Yeah, that that just you're going to have so many more people. That makes sense. I'll fill my form out of the Okay. Um, okay. And, uh, the street closing notice distribution. So that's there's not really well, actually that's, that should be part of the um, uh, the advertising because. It's day up. There will be people who want to come off the 12 and they'll just know the rose post. So it, as long as, as the part of the whole thing is people will expect that the rose will be closed from such a time until such a time because that's when we're doing the parade. So we don't have to worry about it and we treat everything else is coming off the street and we'll just have to guide them around Champion Street. You don't, you don't think we have to notify the people that live on the road and Wood Creek? Yeah, yeah, in, the year, in, in previous the years, maybe it's been door hangers door or hangers. flyers taped to the door. I know I've taped a bunch of those. Right. Uh, I didn't know. Yeah, yes, let's get to those. Um, yeah, those need to be even, done because even, people, okay. people yeah. have moved here and they yeah. might not know about okay. it. Well, we can all say we'll be hearing about it for weeks if you don't Right, yes, right. We can always also use the uh, sandwich boards. We have two yes. sandwich yeah. boards. That's a good one. Right. on the 26th from this time to this time. Right, yeah. Yeah, that's that's good. Good. Said, we'll, bring time. we'll be closed and yeah. we'll get it out there a week in advance. Yeah, right. that would be good. But the door hangers, uh, are they going to be door hangers? I think so. I think, that's I think in the past, it, I have been given, I think, a painter's tape and told not to <laughs> rip anyone's paint off and uh, just fly. Door, door. Like, they don't actually I'll name the glass on the door. It's just flyers in front here. And so oh, just flyers? Oh, okay. Just, just put them in the doors. Mm -hmm. Walk up and down and put them in the door. Yeah, and yeah. Like 54 houses, I think. Okay. Are you... It takes several hours yes, to do you need, a, you need more than you need a few friends, yes, you know, you to walk with them. My kids like doing it. Like, I don't mind doing some of it. And yeah, well, maybe yeah, like, I'll, I'll do, do a portion of it. I don't want to do all. Yeah, and I, I do a portion. Maybe my grandkids will help me with the golf cart. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I usually do a part. I park in, like, one but, spot, and my kids will do, like, a few. What we need is to make sure it's, it's printed up and ready to go. Right. Because we want that the week of the event. Right. Too far ahead, people. What day is our business? 26th. It's, it's a Sunday. Sunday. So if we start, if we can start us at Monday. Monday, the, um, if we start at Monday the 21st. Yeah. Um, then, oh, yeah. Yeah, we we'll, we'll start putting them out then. And these are the days. Hey, don't forget, we back here. We're first going to be closed. Just remind us, you know, if they invited somebody to come over for dinner that night, you know, then you, can you, that they is. might, they don't think about, oh, yeah, two years ago, they were spectacular. They mean, just sort of the close for one hour. Yes. Yes. Okay. And then, Bob, you're going to take care of the road closures at each end of the right. creek. Oh, yeah, it's okay. actually about five streets that I have to deal with. But yeah. Now, parade line up and check in. Pat has always done that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm happy to try. I don't, know what, okay. I don't know what it is, but okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Very, you know, all those little things I sent to you with all the pieces of paper? It'll make that right. Well, Jane Little helped before, and, and, you know, I, and I know she uh, probably Karen will. Poe said she's happy to help. We can, yeah, okay. and, and Jane Little is really good at that. She's, she's good at that. She's okay, good. let me, I'll, I'm here. Okay. Let's see if we can get all that. So what it, it it consists of is is lining up all the golf carts and the trailers. Can you do that? Yeah. Uh, no, up the yeah, here. So and they're numbered off of their applications, right? I really don't. I don't think he did that. I think it was at, 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 it was on the right. Because, yeah, and, and yeah. Because there's no way you can do it otherwise. Yeah. That would be that would be twenty-two back there. Right. This is bringing me to the fact that the people on Deerfield probably should get a get a little notice too. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, because, Deerfield. Yeah. Oh, you mean about the trainers getting yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, about the closure. That's for about a half hour. Oh, I, yeah. I did Deerfield and the oh you did and okay. the, all the thing like you heard, maybe it's all Deerfield but like curves. Right. We, we did right. Because you know they can't get yeah. And not just Wood Creek Drive, there's a few things that 
shut off of that. Stonehouse. I didn't do people on champion. They can get out another way, but all the all the streets that have to be Yeah, that part we do. I think we passed out this this timeline, didn't I? About the old habits. Okay. Are you are we deciding whether or not we're doing trailers in addition to the golf cart? I would vote for not doing it. I would vote for not doing it. It was a no, lot. It, it, like, the kids get really anxious. Well, and it's a lot. 45 more. minutes for I'm one of the people that pulls the trailer. I know. I was killed. My, my dad <laughs> pulled it before, and we are not doing it. And, and kids can ride their bikes and things like that. It's extreme anxiety. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay. But then I know. I agree. The juice is not worth it. So you don't need to put hay. No. Now I want to pull with the hay. That's one thing. Yeah. So okay. it won't stay on the trailer. Yeah. The kids won't. What else do we need? Okay, festival set up and break down. That's gonna be all let's talk I about would, yeah, all and I will be there, all of us. Okay, yeah. I'll I'll arrange the inflatables and I need to bring a stage. Didn't we didn't the golf course say they were gonna run this a trailer for a stage? No, they didn't they they didn't yeah. they renege on that? Or I don't I can't yeah. remember what happened on that. Um okay, we're all gonna be there to help set up a breakdown and that that will be Further. I need enough. I need to bring the trailer. Okay. For the stage. I know? would yeah. like to ask one somebody to go to the golf course and talk to them to make sure that they are still going to be involved with drinks and probably hot dogs. I spoken to them. Didn't Jeff speak with them? But I did. They, they, they need to be reminded. They, 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 they just need to get yes. down to the details. Yeah. They've also planted that, that area with grass, and then we need to make sure they're going to be okay with us putting two large inflatables, 150 people, and yeah, can 30 you people goose neck on I did talk to them about, you know, are you available? Do you want to help? You know, you'll sell your, I think you know, you sell some beer, sell some, you know, whatever. Yeah, so the basically the bathrooms would be open, that kind of stuff. Oh, and I don't know if they would want to, but last year, because it's different owners this year. Mm -hmm. Last well, year, the under, well, well, the we the but they talked about we talked about talking to them and the like marketing ladies who work for them came and was like, Oh yeah, that would be that'd be easy, but seeing as they want to do like some round of golf with some prizes, you know, you might get some people playing that we never played before, you know. Um for the adult costumes, if they'd be I mean, I don't know if that's too big of an ask, but no, it's we can all fix that. Yeah. So maybe you and I could do that. Go speak to the golf. Maybe the golf kids course. too. I mean, yeah. start playing golf. I'm probably spend a bunch of money there. You need to have a special meeting between now and then. Oh, of course. Okay. We'll keep this up. We need the <laughs> participation on the golf course to find mm -hmm. for that special meeting. Okay. Um, water, Bob. You brought the waters last time. Can you do that for us again? Yeah. How many? I, I got the little ones. Uh -huh. How many do you think I need to get? Well, I was thinking we'd do about 175 gift bags. Have y'all seen my display? I know. I'm so excited. And then you see it. all the things we're going to be putting in there, and then we're going to decorate the little skeletons with cute little rings of balls. And yeah, I want them. And you can put your hand. There's a thumb inside. You need the 40th anniversary cups. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we could use these cups. Well, we have cups. In There's some spooky cups. Yes, we have, oh, yeah. we have a theme. Yeah, there's nothing spooky about it. No, um, they're just oh. fun for little kids. And really, well, just the little ones get these. So, so we do have, you know, I mean, we can use any of that stuff that we've got. So I'll just put, I'll put 40th swag on here <laughs> as an option. Good. Should I put mine next to games? Well, yes. <laughs> you're going the bouncy houses, the bouncy houses, and then you said you were going to get two small ones. Oh, you're year. in the dunk tank. So that we are not having to <laughs> Now. Well, what I'm going to define what that's going to mean. Yes. So last for, for last year it was canceled. I have two very large inflatables reserved. Yes. What do y'all want to do this year? We want to do two large and two small. And two small? Mm -hmm. Still got the fifteen hundred and five all four. Still got that check for all right. Do you have a check? It's for one thousand two hundred and sixty dollars. <laughs> it's on my desk. Okay, let me explain something to you. Most all this other stuff we already have. So we'll see, find out what it's going to cost. Okay? okay. We have a budget of thirty-seven hundred. I'll send that over. To you. I'll send that over to you and okay. copy Bob. Yes, and then uh, reserve. Okay. Yeah, I'll get it. I have to reserve them. I would like to mention something that I have a feeling I'll be totally vetoed on. Yeah. But I would prefer to see us use big, great big water containers and the 
cups from the 40th anniversary rather than single use. Oh, oh I would, love that. What a good idea. Yeah. yeah. The 40th yeah. anniversary yeah. cup would be gone. And not the and single use, the a percentage of single use plastic that actually ends up being recycled, even if you put it in your recycle, is less than 10%. Okay. Yes. So can I, oh, can I make a, I, I don't want to be a negative Nancy, mm -hmm. but we have a, we have a fear of norovirus in our house because both of our kids have had it in the last month oh. in the school, and we will not be using communal water dispenser. Is that well, like a thermostat? No, like a thermostat. This would be like a. Wait, Cody. Like so I worked work in the construction yeah. industry, and those all of that communal drinking that was all outlawed when COVID like, started. Like and it, glue, yeah, yeah, and I was frankly happy to see it go because it's disgusting. But it's. Whatever you guys want to do, um, I'll vote with y'all, but we could also, my kids won't touch it. Well, you could, you could do that, and then people that have a problem, like, and I understand that, especially if you have a child that's immune, you know, has immunity problems, bring your own bottle. Like, our grandkids carry their water bottles everywhere yeah. they yep, go. Yep, of ours. And so, so they bring the water bottles. In, in a chest of, you know. Couple of the other few dozen water bottles, I mean, you got it all covered, right? Okay, that's I'll true. go along with whatever y'all want to do. We're gonna have to think about that because we're gonna have to get some kind of dispensers. I get it now, Cody. It's the refills, it's the going for the refills. It yeah, is. well, yeah, yeah but then our does you also have how are you doing? What are you putting in it? I know, there's a lot of in my house. I got great water. I my, my, the, two weeks ago, my daughter missed. Three days of school, she's had perfect attendance every year she's been mm -hmm. in school. That's how bad the nor the norovirus was. Mm -hmm. uh, you do not want it in your house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, um, so maybe water bottles for this time. Yeah, that should do work. Until we, until we figure out a better solution. We're talking small water bottles, yeah, yes. eight ounces. How many do you want me to get? What do you think? 150? Can we bring uh, for those ones in the five degree? Is there such a thing? Grid, yeah. I'm kidding. Oh, it's yeah. such a very expensive weekend. So I do, I do. $500 that, down here. In Ireland, that would have been half We were in Ireland. Yeah, they were all that. In the box of water. Mm -hmm. Um, did you say you are going to bring the trailer for the state? I can't. I didn't know if I need to or not because I thought the golf course said we could borrow a low deck trailer that they had. Okay, uh, we'll add one about that. that would be so the alternative is I'll bring a 32 foot gooseneck and drive my truck out there in the grass with it. Mm -hmm. I want a, a trailer. And, and then, um, you know, FB. Yeah. yeah, that was great when they sold the hot dogs. I think Karen's really appreciated it. Oh, wow. I did. Yeah. <laughs> I was very happy to have them. And then we like the, the drink stand too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. or right. adult and drink beverages if anybody buys that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. they, isn't that kind of what they drive around with and give off? Yeah. Well, they got they got a trailer. Yeah. They they set up a classical canopy and had two tables and uh, oh on on uh, Halloween night. Yeah, 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 they did that too. But all, okay. Oh. So uh, and Coach's gonna look at the inflatables. Uh, photographer. That was packed before, wasn't it? Was it? No. Wait, but you know what? We are we skipping the games? What are we doing no, with the games? Well, we're just kind of going all around here. Okay. I mean, it depends if I'm not in charge of the games. I, I don't think we're going to do the games as much as we have in the past. Mm -hmm. I think they're going to be more self sufficient. I can bring the ping pong table. Did anybody even use it last time? A little bitty ping pong table? Yeah, people did. Okay, good. Yeah. I'll bring the ping pong table. As far as games go, it's not actually a game, but. My daughter and her friends want to set up a couple of tables and paint and have face oh. painting and now paint pumpkins, whether they're plastic oh, or they're paint. small real oh, ones. That's, that's cute. So I had, to, I had to bring it up. My daughter actually told me that I had to bring it up. <laughs> and that's what her and her friends want to do. Like they'll, they'll furnish the paint, the pumpkins, and all of that. No. I don't know if they need to be plastic or if they need to be real ones because if the the they give them away or selling them or what's what I mean? They're just letting them. Just, take them and they, they take them. I mean, like I've, I've okay. seen that. You that probably get yeah. HEV to donate. I was thinking about that, about going and asking about this. the small pumpkins are two for $5 there, which is. Oh my God. That's that's Trader that's Joe's that's donated a lot to St. Stephen. I could do it. One year. I could probably do it for 100 bucks. I could go $100 on it. My daughter wants me to do it. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's going to be. Oh, you got to do it. Oh, she, 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 
kind of do this on our own. But I was, if we still have our friends to run it, I just, oh, so if we do if we do real pumpkins, I'm afraid that there's some kids in town that are frankly awful, and I'm thinking they're going to take the pumpkins and smash That's them. In awesome. It's really hard to smash a little pumpkin. They have to be like rotten. They're just and, and and the other thing is, we talk about it. Is that would hurt my daughter's feelings. And the plastic yeah. would be hard to paint. Yes. Yeah. So, so you, can, you need the real pumpkin. Can you get them to practice on both? Let me let me figure let me figure it out as long as nobody's supposed. Yeah, that's, 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 that's a great idea. That's a great idea. idea. They might want to take and have a tub of water. The kids get to roll paper towels so the kids get to their hands yeah. through yeah. and just put it in the tub of water. We'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah. that'd be great. That's okay, good. music. Pat always did that. The well, did Pat just needs to come back. So where did he just play spooky music? Yeah, music. Music. yeah, music. Kind of background. I mean, I'm sure there's a, well, I'm sure there's a Spotify or a Pandora. And then you have to have some speakers. So, yeah. Okay, so City has a sound system. No, no. I, I, I've donated that okay. for us for everything. Oh, okay. I, I do the our system. Yeah, it's yeah. our churches and it's just in storage over my office. Good. Uh, Russell, you want to get some uh, music and let Pat have the give the music to Pat? The uh, Jeff to Pat. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I mean it's it's just called Spotify. Bill just said Gary music. Yeah, Jeff Russell. Oh yeah, Russell there. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, Jeff Russell. 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 Yeah, Jeff because if I just, we're going to all be in different places. Yeah. Right. So and we can. You have to have a designated person for the golf cart, for the contest cart, to make sure that those pictures uh, get taken. Every single Everything else doesn't matter, but those pictures count for us a lot. Yeah. Right. Right. And if I'm lining them up, I'll yeah. take those pictures. So. And the people at the costume contest. When they're lining up? Yeah. No, when they're getting judged or whatever I'm supposed to, I don't know. You'll do that, yeah. Russell. Well, you I think Karen has gone. I think it was Karen and, yes. and John who just went when they when the decorated carts pulled up, you know, for judging. Yeah. You know, they were going around and taking pictures of everybody with the with the. Mouse. I've got a camera and I don't have kids, so I'm happy to. Yeah. Yeah. Well, shall we let yeah. you do the golf carts? Designate. No, he's going to take the pictures. That's Sorry. what I mean. Ups, but I think he needs to specialize if we want him to do the carts that we're going to be judging. Not everything. Or just How about the cards and the costume contest? Yes. Because those two contests don't happen at the same time. Yeah. Okay. There's, there's everything else can be candid. Yeah. yeah everything yeah. else is candid. Yeah. 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 Everybody just takes. But yeah. those yeah. other okay. things. Okay. Yeah. And Thank you. Like it's it's email okay. Email the best photos in or something. Get yeah, all in one place. Yes. Yeah. Well, let's, we can store those. Okay. Um, um, so on the, just on the. Costume thing. Um, mm -hmm. John O'Dell is yes. looking forward to being the. Yes, that's John O'Dell. Thank you. Oh, you know, the uh, owner of the Runway Cafe used to have some of those little. Strange. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you know, the air comes out. Yeah, air, and air. And oh, 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 oh. Um, yeah so we've had members of our community send their inflatable. I've sent my inflatables okay. over for that. Okay. And I, I will I would set them up and power them and everything while I was doing the uh, the big inflatables. Yes. Yeah. Is that okay. gonna, are you going to ask them about power also? Power? Generators. Yeah, it has Oops. to be. Mine is. Okay. Yeah, generators. I'll bring mine. I'll bring my father-in-law's. And we have one other. Pat seems like he would have had a generator. Uh, you know, Pat I, did bring a generator. Oh, a generator. Yeah. A better generator. Okay, Justin. Okay. I know. I know that. Got uh, two. Yeah, my street has a generator because I see. I don't know. Everyone else is oh, the one that's building next to you. Yeah. Oh, 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 the one that's building next to you. Oh, come on. No. Okay. A, All right. We're going to get a certain number of cords with the inflatables, and I have a bunch of, I have not a bunch, I have several cords that I can shore up with. Electrical cords. Yeah. Okay. I can handle the inflatables for sure, and I can, I, in the past, I've been able to handle the inflatables, no. the Halloween inflatables that were donated. Yes. But got four for electrical cords. cords, you mean? But we need volunteers, as we know, two at each one of the big ones, right? In and out. And then probably some a volunteer. We'll do that later. Yeah, we have to have adults at the inflatables to keep yeah. the kids from killing yes. each other. Yes, yes, yes. 
I need to back up to John O'Dell, the MC, a second. Yes. Um, he's requested um, that we get the kids name tags. Name tags. Oh, I guess we have name tags. We'll still have them. And I mean, just the kid's name, and then sometimes it's wondering what the costume is, right? Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> but he can't draw yeah, like. But, but what you can do is have the parent, when the parents bring them up, you have a table there. Right, right. And, and you'll have some markers, and the parents need to write the name of the kid and what they are. I know, but I'll have to that. Oh. Well, yeah, you can do that, or you can put. I think that yeah, when, when we did the um, when we did the, Fourth, when we did the Fourth of July thing, we did the little firecracker contest, and Russell and Monica and Eleanor and, and they, all the kids came up and they checked them in, made a name tag for them. Second on the it was it was pretty fun to watch. Eleanor's our our eleven. Oh, no, she's she's going to be fourteen. She's going to be fourteen. She's going to be fourteen in December. She's six. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, anyway, she's going to be a photo opportunity. Let me know when she's ready. 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 Let me know when uh, I was, some people were complaining, I guess, or Pat was telling me that someone complained about my handrail system that I put up. Um, I, don't know, I thought it was sufficient. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, what about the games? What's going to happen with the games? I think we're eliminating a lot yeah, of. Oh, okay, good. Oh, we're going to have to see what I can get. Two, he's going to try to get two in smaller inflatables. We're going to have the ping pong table. Uh -huh. um, it should be easy and probably cheaper just to go with inflatables from one supplier yes. rather than one check. Cornhole. Basically fill the lawn up with yes. activities yes. to keep the kids busy. Because all the kids do is walk around. They act crazy on the inflatables the entire time. Yes. They're waiting to be released to the inflatables. Right, and they don't care about the games, really. You're just uh, that's what I'm them. wondering, too. Do we even want to do inflatables? Inflatables, you can. Well, yeah, you can do it. Like, 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 <laughs> Said, said my thing. Okay, that's what yeah. 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 That, you know, I saw that on your front porch, and then we saw it at Costco. And oh, yes. He's forgotten about it for now. I'd rather not remember. Just you for now. You are welcome to bring him up on my front porch yeah. today, so you don't have to buy it. Okay, okay. thanks. Yes, okay. Thank you. If we have simple, self sufficient games like ping pong, card pong, Jenga, that don't, you don't necessarily get a prize for playing that. No, game. Right. no, right. I know so that would be so much easier. Yeah. And, 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 and if someone wants to walk around, we have bags of these little, little. You know things that glow in the dark and stuff. We can just hand them out, right? Or put them in the bags, but, right? Uh, I don't think the older kids will go through the candy bags, but you know, I mean, they're not old, but you know, it's just stuff. It's not anything a treasure. A cool game would be to use wiffle ball, like pra practice golf balls, kind of like the wiffle ball, and do a, a closest to pin chip uh, or something like that. Yeah, golf course. Too much organization. Yeah, and somebody who was. Oh, the golf course did it. It's uh -huh. really hard to organize um, kids in that kind of environment. Yeah, no, so be because they have too much people too excited. Yeah, that's kind of like my opinion. And so, I mean, right there, not on the golf course itself, but where right. on the side where we're having this projector. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, it's just not it. So we got everything going. I think so. Well, I'll talk to staff. They're going to have to order the porta potty. And we want two this time, but we want handicap one regular. Yes. Yes. You really yeah. have to put an idea. Yes. And then we are. All of that, okay. And so do we do for that matter? For that matter, just do two ADAs. Okay. That's what I would say because the ADA actually has enough room to, for an adult to spend around with it. Them. Yeah. Okay, and then they'll take care of uh, talking to the constables. And they did switch out the the port body. It's well, actually bigger. Already. Well. Yeah. 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 Ye
you can sit in a wheelchair and then stand up and get on the pod. Oh, wow. Kathy called and they, they were wow. trying to Okay, that's, yeah, wow. I didn't realize that. Johnny on the pod. Not really, really yeah. serious yeah. in the ADA. Yes. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, let's I do have, have, I do have a question. Yes, I want to make sure since I, I was not ever in charge of this before, um, but um, do I need to be the one like figuring out the form for like signing for trailers too? Who does that? We're not doing trailers uh, or, or golf carts. Uh, they they, they should have, have that. The it's the all of that form that they sent out. Okay, so I should probably just sit down and meet with Taffy mm -hmm. to figure out mm -hmm. the communication. Yeah. The rest yes, of so. I, I, just copied everything we've done previously. Yes. Change the date. Change the date. I, I, think, I just looked at my email. I have some. You know, you're going to have to specify no trailers. I mean, because people are going to, somebody might remember and say, well, I did a trailer last time. <laughs> so we, we put a face on it so that no, maybe they'll think we understand oh, why. Right. Excuse if they, me. All they have to do is listen to the code to know why. Because that's, right. that's well, not great. There's a, there's a difference between somebody just saying, oh, I've got a gun. I'm put a no. little head on, put my kids on the back. But we were asking kids to sign up to write on the trailer. Oh, okay. Yeah. So okay. That, I, I, we're not going to do that. Okay. Right. You're not going to do take responsibility want, for other people. Do we kids. want to okay. say that kids can bring a bike or walk in the grid? Yes. Or we live in a golf cart? They can decorate their bicycles and walk on the fence. Golf carts, bikes, and walk. Golf carts. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. let's move on to, I think it's it for so now. Do we need to make a motion to continue no. to discuss this on the next time? Yes, message? I will I will start typing. Yeah, you don't need a motion, but, no. but it'll probably just be on all your agendas. Yes. yes, we just, we want to be talking about this every day. Okay, we want the participation of the golf course to find the special meeting we're going to have. <laughs> we really need to know what that's going to be like. I think that's a really good idea. I, I, we'll go down and talk to yeah. Chris. Yeah, okay. And then we get we need a few we'll 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 she's probably go ahead and schedule the session because I'm out of town till the sixth. Yeah. The, the day after our, the city council meeting is many times a good. We're not going to have anything on this agenda except for the uh, the monthly accounting. We're not even going to have that. Okay, now I need to be clear. Just one thing. Hey, I need to be clear too. What what? what is thirty-seven hundred dollars or whatever that figure was? Has that been approved? Yes. 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 Okay. It was approved last night. Are Are we sure that that spectacular is Sunday and not Saturday? Is it? 26th. I thought it was the twenty-sixth. Oh, Saturday. Saturday. Oh, the sixth, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, right. yeah. Saturday the twenty-sixth. Yeah. yeah. I bought tickets to go to somewhere. Oh well, do you have to give those away? I guess I'm going to have to. Right. You know, the twenty-sixth is the fifth Saturday. Okay, so let us. No, the pair duo. Oh, okay. Let's, um, um, I wanted to do that. I thought it was Sunday. Sacrifice. <laughs> Why don't, do you think if we wait till we think that the 17th is too late for our special meeting before the, the 26th? Why are we doing it on Saturday? The kids, people will never leave. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess there's no reason we couldn't. But, I mean, I they will have the generators on. I, 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 no, there was a reason. There was something scheduling. Um, was it Google that was on? No, Google's the week before. Yeah, Google's early. Well, we are seven. 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 Yeah. No, Google's like the 19th or something. Yeah. I, I, I know, really. I, I mean, Otherwise, we, the parents pick up the kids and they have they're trying to get them to bed, and they for school the next day, and they leave. And um, mm -hmm. let's do it. And then how do we do? If you really want to go, you're saying we can skip those. <laughs> okay. Well, that's parents. not that, that's it's not the biggest. Problem. I mean, there's other reasons too. I I but I'm, I'm not. Concerned. I mean, there are some things like you know I know a lot of kids my son's age have soccer and baseball games. 5 p.m. on Saturdays, sometimes this time of year. Um, oh, yeah. It, it's older kids mostly if you're doing <laughs> more neat stuff. Um, but I think I think we will be there unless I didn't think about that. We could actually have a baseball tournament that weekend. However, <laughs> most kids are. Is it that we had a reason to not schedule it on Sunday the 27th, or did we think that the 26th was a Sunday? No, I think we just did it for Saturday. It was Saturday, but either makes sense to me. You can make an argument. I don't remember why we did that. I thought we were in a discussion about it. I remember there was a discussion. It was on Sunday in the past. 
I think it was a Sunday in the past because we didn't want to do it the same day as Google. Yes, that we had a conflict That's with what the it city. It is in the, it's in the city calendar right now for the 26th of Saturday. Okay, let's just go with it yeah. and we'll just think better. And I'm just better get on the invitables. Yes, you should. So one of the reasons we're it's so easy to get invitables is because we've done it on Sundays. Yeah, that's true too. Okay. So you better yeah, let us know right away. I'll call okay. tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now let's just return back to our agenda. Um I uh, A, we'd like to have a work weekend this coming uh, weekend. There are two problems with that. Yes. But the hardest one is we're, um, dates are not right. That's not a price. That's not a Saturday Sunday. That's a Friday Saturday. The second thing right. we need to let people know okay. uh, a way ahead. Okay. We're going to reschedule that. So that needs to be rescheduled. We're going to. Uh, what, do, do we have to table that or just read? Re no, this is an announcement. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, okay. Um, a reminder of the tree board giveaway, November the 9th at Augusta. It's our goal to make Augusta as beautiful as it is and try to get as much in before that, that is date. We might want to do that work weekend, the first weekend of October. Probably before that. There'd be no oh, okay. Yeah, October. Mm -hmm. October? Because the next weekend, weekend, after this weekend, is the first weekend in October. <laughs> okay, I'm out of town tonight. How about the, the, the what, fifth when are you back in town? Uh, the 6th. What about the 12th and 13th of October? That's yes. fine. Okay. So, that's also just for what it's worth. It's also the that's the one with the. the what? It's just an album. What is it? It's a, the music fest with Sarah DeRose. And, uh, it's also, it's also like three and a half and weekends of weekend the school, but like we are not going to be in town. That's okay. We, Y'all, we're just trying to get any volunteers that want to come in in the morning. In the morning. About an hour, yeah. hour and a half. We well, just his brother's going to be here. He's probably the first one to come down in four weeks. Good. Yeah. He won't. Yeah. We have one more new thing. Uh, Justin would like to talk about the dark sky meter. He would like to install yeah. one of the parts. Yeah, so as the dark sky community that we are, the uh, city of Wood Creek has bought a uh, dark sky meter. So now we can start collecting dark sky data. Um, this, there's an educational component that goes with this uh, that I think we could probably add to the Augusta Park. Um, this is what it looks like. At least the housing anyhow. And uh, I'm open to suggestions on between the triangle or Augusta, but really just an update on you know more of an educational component to add to some of our parks. And uh oh, so and Augusta is where we were trying to uh, do a lot of educational things. That's right. So along with the you know the plaques that we'll be putting up for the other things that we're working on out there, this can be a few right be sort of And there's so, probably some room out. You probably need it out from underneath everything. It needs to be unimpeded by trees. So like does that. this so, transmit information to someplace? It'll have to be downloaded, but it'll there's a central dashboard online that this data will be transmitted to and uh, used by you know researchers and of course. All sorts, of, all sorts of uh, different outlets. Well, we know that maybe all of them. Indeed. On a poll. Yeah, how much does it cost? We're talking about it. How much does it cost? Uh, Jeff, I mean, it's very inexpensive. In fact, 300 bucks, maybe? 300 bucks for the unit, but the volunteer, which is you're looking at, is going to be downloading this data. So yes. that's coming as well. And you will want to sign on that prior to the time. Yeah, we'll make so we'll, we'll we'll it. Let me know what kind of sign. What kind of sign? Yeah. Are you still thinking we need to sync a post? That's all likely. Yeah. yeah. So everybody says it needs to be. We're looking, at, we're looking at existing. I mean, we we toured it with the dark sky folks, okay. and um, and it needs to be. We looked at existing trees, and like there's a couple of trees that were cut off here. You know, they're just like posts, but there's growth on top of it. So that in the white part of them, the PVC. The little hole that sensor goes up like 20 degrees, so it needs to be clear for that 20 degrees. Okay. So there weren't, there wasn't any place that was just perfect, but we said, hold it, we could just take like a cedar post, you know, 10 foot cedar post or whatever, stick it in the ground over sort of in the natural area, but where people can get to it and see it and read about it. Um, that Justin can get there and download the data, which is. 
the sensor is inside the PVC. Just pull it out, plug it into a little thing, and download it to a hard drive, and plug it back in again. The the clear plastic um, that's a that's a, um, a, a solar panel uh, where it charges the battery, so it's all pretty well self-contained and easy to easy to do. Um, Cody, let us know as soon as you know about the inflatables, because we don't want to talk to the golf course until the date is um, for sure. Oh, the Saturday Sunday thing? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if I need to call them tomorrow. I need to start reminding them on the phone. Do we have the hour set? I mean, we might want to change that to Sunday. Hey, Siri, set a reminder for 9 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it o'clock? Was it just 7? Or I thought it was. I didn't look at what it was. 4.30, okay. Oh, you don't know. It's 5 to 7. Okay, I added it. Um, but we start the parade at we start lining up at 4 30. Okay, and um, but that should all be on the form that uh, uh, form like from last year. Yes, yeah. I just I don't have all of this stuff. I no, just don't know. I 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 don't know. Thank you. 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 Try to tear up some of the border oh, really? around the playground in the front. Oh, I'm not sure I saw okay. that earlier. Okay. We did hire our land okay. management guy. Mm -hmm. um, so he's a he's a pretty cool kid. And figure uh, out what he's got. And then I just have. I know he's got the parts on his email it to me. Yeah. Um, yeah. Probably going to be. I don't need that email. Really Maybe we we have to make work with parks. Yes, but if we can get them and look at any specific of what like routine maintenance would be done, but also maintenance is needed immediately because of you know. I think if he walk goes up there, what needs to be done is going to be really solved. Okay. Yeah. All right. I haven't been inside the gate in weeks. People have just now started going back. It's not 104 yeah. every day. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. I'll see you later. All right. Well. Patrick Camp of today. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I you can show me that form when you get it ready to go. We'll make sure you get that done by Monday at the latest. Thank you, Bob. Bye bye. Thank you, Ruth Ann. Thank you all. Thanks, Bob. See you later. It was, um, I think it's number eight. Oh, um, Ruben, I have to put in my car. You'll be running right. Um, I don't know you know what to $66,000. Actually, most of them make a recommendation to set aside their third fund to not go $66,000. Okay, well, I think I have some time in the morning, but my flight is at 10 So, do what? How do we do this? I used um, to have, Suzanne used to come in with this piece of paper. It was the action form. Yeah. And we would just write it out. Well, yeah, it just has to agree. The, the technicality is that I didn't make this up. Yes. That this is what you wanted. Yes. And that's why I, that's why I write it. No, yes. So I, I think I have it pretty much already. Yeah, is this, that is the one motion. Yeah, yeah there's things, that's right. There was a form that, okay, this is the report to right council. I don't know where that is. Yes, that's Yeah, we were trying to find, I was trying to find this form, this pretty simple form. You know, I can, I'm gonna, I'll send it to you and I'll send it to um, ben, Jim, to, to Jim and, and we'll be done. Yeah, and it will be on the And Deborah, Deborah does a lot of the work. Okay. I mean, she made it a meeting code. Yeah. And, and then it's okay. better stuff. So yeah, anything that I have on how to send it the the Okay. We'll get it out. I think that. the main thing is to be moved, you know, from the reserve funds right. package to the I'll look. The natural the education or the completion of the loose parts and natural education thing, right? Yes. Yeah. We'll, we'll no, but taking out the words loose parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the natural play right? Yeah. Okay. Not to exceed, yeah. Use monies from the parks expense account, not to exceed. It's basically that exact wording, but it doesn't say lose parts. Yes. Right, got it. Okay. Yeah. And see where you get that. Okay. Thank you. Wait, are these too big? Because I can't no. take one back. No, no. Wait.
And do you um I just bring the receipt to Taffy? Yes. yes. Okay. Cool. Well, I need to talk with her anyway, so I will do that. Yes. Is the city own any any ice chests? I have a couple that are not gigantic, but if I'm only going to get, I think you said 158 ounce things. I don't know. You know, I don't know if they have any big ice chests or not. I have a fairly big igloo. Yeah, yeah. mine is mine is square. And yeah, mine is mine is like I don't know that That's long, funny, but that tall, but this That's wide. Funny, so a couple of those, something. Yeah, that general size. Yeah. <laughs> 